Good evening, I'm Ken Brockman, and this is I on Springfield. Oops, what I meant to say was, Hey there, everybody, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan. Continuing from where yesterday's upload left off, here's part two of my two-part video featuring every DVD release of The Simpsons that I currently own so far. Alright, let's continue. Like I mentioned in part one, for those of you who didn't see it yet, link will be in the description. Seasons 11 through 18 of The Simpsons feature a different one of the show's many side characters on their front covers. Let's get things started with Season 11, featuring Krusty on the co front cover. Front. Top. Bottom. Left side, featuring Hans Mole Man and Mr. Teeny. Right side, which doesn't have any characters on it. And the back. And here is the inside. Season 11 of The Simpsons was the first DVD set for the show to feature this very frustrating package design. Each disc, beginning with Season 11's release, are housed in their own cardboard sleeve, which are really nice looking and highly collectible, but... Because of the fact that they're inside a sleeve rather than putting them in a tray that you can easily pop open to get the disc out, it's a pain to get each disc open without scratching them. Alright, so here is disc one featuring Homer. Disc 2, featuring Marge and Maggie. Disc 3, featuring Bart. And finally, Disc 4, featuring Lisa. And here is the episode guide booklet. Another introduction from Matt Groening. Always nice. And here is the back of the inside for those of you who wanted to see it. It has a very nice looking style of art themed after Krusty Land, which is fitting because early copies of this DVD came with coupons for discounted tickets to Universal Studios, which had the Simpsons ride when this DVD set came out, like The Simpsons Ride had just opened by the time this DVD was released. 
So it was fitting that Krusty was the main focus of this set since, well, you know, The Simpsons ride is set at Krusty Land. Alright, now here is season 12 of The Simpsons, featuring Comic Book Guy on the front cover. Front, top, bottom, left side, featuring Matt Groening as he appears in his guest star appearance, as well as McBain. Right side, featuring Agnes Skinner and Krusty. And the back of the box. Really like the comic book theme design that they chose for this DVD set. And here's the artwork that's underneath. The packaging for this DVD set is themed to the Buy My Sci-Fi Con, which is why Matt Groening appeared on the left side of the actual box because he appeared in the episode featuring the Buy My Sci-Fi Con. But it's a little weird that they decided to theme the package for this season's DVD release to the convention because the episode featuring it wasn't until season 15. If I rem remember correctly, it was the episode My Big Fat Geek Wedding in which comic book guy almost marries Mrs. Krabappel. So anyways, here is disc one featuring Homer alongside the pimple-faced squeaky teen. Disc 2, featuring Marge and Maggie. Disc 3, featuring Lisa and Millhouse. And finally, Disc 4, featuring Bart, Rod, and Todd. And here is the insert. Once again, an introduction from Matt Groening. This insert is styled like a comic book, going with the whole Buy My Sci-Fi Con theme. So, that's super cool. Oh, the episode with where we find out that Homer has a, the crayon in his brain, is from season 12. I was trying to remember what episode that season was from, and I brought that up in part 1, but now I know for a fact that that episode is from season 12. Here is the back of the inside of the package for those who wanted to see it. Alright, so here is season 13 of The Simpsons, featuring Wow. Ralph Wiggum on the front cover. Wait, 
fail English? That's impossible! This is actually the first season DVD for The Simpsons that I ever got. I got it as a birthday gift from my mom, who lives in Oregon, all the way back in 2016, if I remember correctly. Front, top, bottom, left, right. Oops, I forgot to mention that the left side has the leprechaun that Ralph has as sort of his conscious that was used in a couple of episodes. And then also, and then also, um, hmm. man, I forgot what his name was. Oh yeah, Martin. Man, I shouldn't have forgotten what his name was since he's voiced by, or he used to be voiced by, the late Rusi Taylor. Gray Delisle Griffin is the current voice actor of Martin now. And the right side, featuring Nelson and Millhouse. And the back of the box. Season 13 is a very special Sim Simpsons season to me because it aired in 2002, the year I was born. And this DVD set I got as a gift for my 13th birthday. So it has a special significance to me for that reason. So, once again, we have the nice looking but frustrating cardboard sleeves. This set is themed after an arcade, a Noiseland arcade, if I'm correct about that. So, here is disc one featuring Homer. The cool thing about the discs for season 13 is that they're themed after, like they've pictured the sprites from the Simpsons arcade game that was released by Konami in 1991. So it's super cool that Fox decided to use those sprites in on the disc artwork for season 13 because of the whole arcade theme that the package has. Here is disc two featuring Marge. Disc three featuring Lisa. And finally, disc four. Featuring blue shirt Bart. Hey Bart, where's your blue shirt? I don't have a blue shirt. Doll. Oh! For some weird reason, my copy doesn't come with the episode guide insert. Even though my mom purchased this for me brand new from Target. When she got this for me as my birthday gift. And here's the back of the inside for those who wanted to see it. Next off, I don't have season 14 of The Simpsons on DVD yet, but I do have season 15. All of the Simpsons' DVD releases, like the season sets, have really nice shiny boxes, but this one is especially shiny. I really like the trippy feel that the colors used on this box have, which is fitting since the front cover pictures Springfield's local perpetual stoner, Otto Busman. Here's the front. Top, bottom, left side, featuring Mr. Burns and Smithers. Right side, featuring Comic Book Guy and Mrs. Krabappel, which is, of course, referencing the episode My Big Fat Geek Wedding, which, like I mentioned earlier, is on this DVD set, 
not season 12, despite season 12's DVD release being themed to the By My Sci-Fi Con, which is, whose only appearance, as far as I know, was in that episode. And the back of the box. And here is what we got inside. Once again, nice looking artwork, annoying cardboard sleeves. This DVD set is themed after, well, Otto's bus. And each of the discs in this season have warning yellow signs that are themed to each of the Simpson family. So here is disc one featuring Homer. Disc two featuring Marge. See, I'm having trouble putting this disc back in. That just shows you how frustrating these cardboard sleeves are. Disc 3 featuring Bart. And finally, disc 4 featuring Lisa and Maggie. And here is the insert, which is themed to a Springfield travel guide. Yet another introduction for Mac Groening. The cool thing about the little area of the cardboard sleeve protecting the insert is that it's, it has, it's a picture of Otto's bus license, and it said that it expires in 2003, which was the year that this season began airing. Oh, wait, I forgot. Here is the artwork that's on the back of the inside for those who wanted to see it. Finally, for my season DVD releases of The Simpsons, 
see, season 18. I don't have season 19, the most recent season DVD set for The Simpsons to be released yet, but I'm definitely planning on getting it very soon because, unknown to most people, the season DVD releases of The Simpsons have been quietly going out of print, and I am blaming Disney for this, since they own 20th Century Fox now, or as I should call them 20th Century Studios, since, like I mentioned in part one, Disney did the audacious thing of removing the Fox from 20th Century Fox. And now the Simpsons, minus Stark Raving Dad, of course, can now be streamed on Disney+. Plus. And since Disney wants you to watch the show on Disney+, Plus rather than buying it on DVD, the only reason why they released Season 19 on DVD in the first place was for diehard Simpson fanatics who just wanted to have the gap between Season 13 and Season 20 filled. For those of you who don't know, Season 20 was actually released on DVD and Blu-ray before Season 13 through 19 came out on physical media. Originally, Fox was going to stop releasing Season DVD releases of The Simpsons in 2014 with Season 17, but then, in 2017, they finally decided to give Season 18 a DVD release. And then, two years later, Season 19 came out on DVD. So, because of the fact that the, the majority of The Simpsons' Season DVD releases have unfortunately gone out of print, I've had to purchase a lot of these DVD sets secondhand, either through Goodwill, like I mentioned in Part 1, and... Rasputins, like, also like I mentioned, part one or Rasputins. But anyways, here's the front featuring Fat Tony. Top, bottom, left side, right side. Unfortunately, season 18's DVD does not have any characters pictured on either sides of the box like on the previous season DVD release says which looks a bit inconsistent on the shelf but it's not too bad and the back of the box And here is the inside. I really like the gloomy mafia-themed artwork featuring Fat Tony and the rest of his good fellas on the box. This time, it, the inside opens up like this, which is kind of neat. Huh, <laughs> Homer has hair here. Oh, and contrary to what you may think when you first open this DVD set, this set does have an episode guide booklet. It's just hiding in this part here, where nobody would be able to find it unless you were deliberately looking for it like I was. The insert is themed after a crime pulp magazine from the 20s, which is fitting given the rest of the package for this DVD set. And here's an intro uh, introduction for Matt Groening, the last one that I'm going to be showing you in this video, which quite hilariously talks about how long it took for this season to come out on DVD.
This DVD set includes the 400th episode of the show, You Can't Always Say What You Want, which is also the final episode of the show to be produced before the Simpsons movie was released in theaters. This time around, the majority of the discs are themed after, well, more specifically, more, more specifically, they picture Fat Tony. So here's disc one. Disc two. Disc 3. And finally, Disc 4. Now that I'm done taking a look at my t season DVD releases for The Simpsons, now I'm going to show you the other three DVDs I own of the show. First is The Simpsons Christmas, one of the four holiday compilation DVDs for the show. I own this DVD as well as the second Simpsons Christmas DVD, but I don't own the Treehouse of Horror Simpsons DVD, a.k.a. the Halloween one, or the Valentine's Day Simpsons DVD, Kiss and Tell the Story of Their Love, though I want to get those DVDs at some point. Got this at Rasputin's for only 95 cents, a really good deal in my opinion. I already know that all the episodes on the holiday compilation DVDs were already released on the season sets, but you know, they're nice for when the holidays come around, so you can just pop a disc in the player and enjoy some episodes themed to the holiday that the D DVD is themed after. The front cover features Homer dressed up as Santa, referencing the episode Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, the very first episode of the series to air, though not the first one to be produced, as well as the show's first Christmas special, Choking Bart, a horrible act of child abuse that became one of the show's most beloved gags. Oh, and by the way, I was being sarcastic. Wow, well, duh! Front. Spine. And the back. And here is the inside. Pretty nice looking artwork on the disc. And we have this pretty cool looking insert. The front of it features some presents that I assume are to and from Smithers and Burns. And the back of the insert is a scene selection for all the episodes included here. Alright, here is the second Simpsons Christmas DVD, which I got at 7-Eleven as part of this thing called Treasure Hunt, where they have discounted DVDs, but at the price of putting it putting them inside these cardboard sleeves rather than in their original cases but at least they're easier to open up than the ones for the Simpsons' actual season DVD releases here is the full artwork on the disc for those who wanted to see it
Last but not least, here is the, my DVD for The Simpsons movie. A really great movie, and the last very, very good thing to come out of the franchise. Um... I, like I mentioned earlier, I think that the show began to truly begin to decline in quality with season 19, but I don't think that the later seasons of The Simpsons are, like, super bad for the most part. They're just mediocre to me. But this movie is ridiculously funny, and even those who don't like The Simpsons' episodes from season 9-ish onwards seem to really like this movie. So I'm definitely happy to have it on DVD, and hopefully I will eventually buy it on Blu-ray. Front, spine, and the back. And here is the inside. The disc features Spider-Pig, aka Harry Plopper. Pretty cool that they put him on that disc. And it comes with this really cool insert. The front of it is themed to the Springfield Shopper, the go-to newspaper for the residents of Springfield. And the inside features advertisements for various Simpsons products, including phone wallpapers, the 2007 video game, the Simpsons ride at Universal Studios, which was about to open by the time this DVD came out, and an advertisement for all of the Simpsons DVDs that were released up to this point, seasons 1 through 10, and these compilation discs. Though for some odd reason, Treehouse of Horror, like the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror DVD, is not advertised here. And here is the back of the insert for those who wanted to see it. Alrighty. So, that's everything for The Simpsons that I currently own on DVD. I'm hoping I'll eventually get the other seasons I don't currently own sometime in the future, though I'll probably have to do it secondhand because like I mentioned multiple times by this point, 